Hey, welcome to R2, a channel to help you sell your art online. In today's video, we're going to figure out how to beat the Redbubble algorithm. The problem is that not many people outside of Redbubble actually know how it works and how it can help you get more sales. But there are a few things that we do know that we can come up with to beat the algorithm and make more sales on Redbubble. We know that getting sales on Redbubble is a numbers game. The more you upload, the better the chance your designs will show up in the search results or in Google searches. We also know that it takes time for designs to get indexed in search. This varies by design, but it's safe to say that eventually, if you use the proper tags and have a great description, you'll get found in search. When it comes to getting more sales, beating the system, and boosting our business, we need to consider every aspect of our design. The colors we choose play a big role in how our customers perceive our work and can be the deciding factor in whether they make a purchase or not. There are many different variations of color palettes to experiment with, so it's important to find out which generates sales for your Redbubble shop. Another beat the algorithm strategy is to create cute and witty designs. There is a huge market for funny t-shirts with cute designs. If you tap into a trend with a witty design, you're sure to get some sales on Redbubble. When it comes to making money with funny designs, there are a couple things to keep in mind. For one, funny designs are some of the best selling and strongest sellers in print on demand marketplaces across the board. This is because people love to laugh and share funny designs with their friends. Additionally, funny designs are often a great way to show off your personality and make a statement. We know that trends can bring in new print on demand sales on Redbubble and by keeping up with trends, it's a great way to come up with new designs that sell. As we all know, staying ahead of the curve is important in today's market and the same is true for selling on Redbubble. As a designer, it's important to always be aware of the latest trends in order to create designs that will sell. One way to stay on top of trends is to follow what's happening on social media, especially Instagram. There are tons of accounts that post about current trends and by following them, you'll be able to see what's popular and come up with designs that reflect those trends. We do know that the Redbubble algorithm takes into account factors such as sales velocity and customer feedback in addition to the traditional factors such as popularity. The Redbubble algorithm is a mystery to many of its sellers. However, there are things that have worked for other top sellers on the platform. So if we follow some of the advice that top sellers have given us, we can increase the chances of being featured on Redbubble. Firstly, it's important to understand what Redbubble looks for in order to feature a seller. According to the company, they are looking for originality, quality, and creativity. Sellers should focus on creating high quality products with unique designs. As an artist, it's important to always be looking for new and innovative ways to showcase your work. This is especially true when it comes to online marketplaces like Redbubble. Knowing that Redbubble is looking for originality, quality, and creativity in submissions, it's important to keep these things in mind when you're creating new designs. By doing so, you can be sure your work will stand out from the crowd and be more likely to be accepted by Redbubble. Will it be the colors you use, the subject matter, or the way you've designed it? Whatever it is, make sure it's something that will catch people's attention. While none of these tips are guaranteed to make you a millionaire, they will certainly help you get your work seen by more people and increase your chances of making a sale on Redbubble. In today's video, we outline tips for improving your Redbubble process. All of these tips should be used in parallel to help you see the best results. We've had sellers test these techniques so you know they work and we get great feedback from those using these strategies. By incorporating as many of these tips as possible into your workflow, you'll be able to improve your Redbubble sales and visibility. In conclusion, by following the tips that were given, you should be able to improve your chances of getting your work featured on Redbubble. Remember to keep experimenting and always try new things to see what works best for you. If you enjoyed today's video and have not already subscribed, do it now so you don't miss the next video. Giving a like to this video is always appreciated. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.